Hello everyone, I am Julian Morris with the Channel 5 News. In the headlines, Dominica calls on the international community to stop political persecution of Venezuela. Government to announce an economic package to assist businesses and individuals affected by COVID-19. And CARICOM heads expected to discuss areas of closer cooperation when they meet online on Wednesday. The details coming up. or switch now to win. It only gets better with flow. Flow terms and conditions apply. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. When you feel a sneeze or a cough coming, <coughs> covering your mouth prevents the spread of germs. You probably knew that. But the way you cover up also matters. And that means breaking a habit you've held near and dear all your life cover your nose and mouth with your flexed elbow or a tissue not your hands discard the used tissue immediately then wash your hands help stop the spread of germs remember your health is your responsibility a message by the health promotion unit of the ministry of health wellness and new health investment dominica When flow, it only gets better with flow. Flow terms and conditions apply. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new all-in bundle. With flow, it only gets better. First up in the news, uh, 3,000 rapid COVID tests donated to help Dominica's fight against COVID-19. Here is Andrea Louis with more. The latest donation of 3,000 test kits and 50 reagents for PCR machine testing from the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela on Tuesday. Venezuela's ambassador to Dominica, His Excellency Jose Moros, says the COVID-19 pandemic has taught that countries must work together to overcome this difficult period. COVID-19 as rude as it is, it's giving the world a lesson in more than one way. It's like it's asking us where our priorities are. I ask to God that this humble gesture of solidarity between the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela and the Commonwealth of Dominica serve as an example to send a message of unity 
and fraternity because we are in this together. It's not happening just in one country, it's happening in the world. It's happening in our Caribbean region. Dominica's Minister for Health, Dr. The Honorable Irvin McIntyre, says Venezuela has remained a friend to Dominica in its time of need, and this donation will go a long way to protect the Dominican public and the frontline workers. These um, supplies that we're receiving today, which is 3,000 rapid COVID tests and 50 reagents for PCR machine testing, this will go a long way as regards our preparedness both in protecting the people of Dominica and our frontline workers. So this is really a great day for us that we can feel more comfortable with our people out there at the front and also with the public in general. So this, this means a lot to us and um, we're just so grateful. Venezuela was commended for being able to lend valuable assistance to Dominica despite the current geopolitical climate. What makes it even more significant is the, when you consider the present geopolitical scenario and the different economic sanctions put against Venezuela. And in spite of all of this, the Republic can come to our assistance. It really means a lot. In spite of all what they're going through, they can make an effort to lend a hand to the people and the government of Dominica. And that makes it just so significant and for this we're extremely grateful to the people of the, and the government of Venezuela. The Venezuelan government has also reached out to other countries in the region to assist with their fight against COVID-19. A call to the international community to end the political persecution of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. During the handing over of medical equipment to Dominica from Venezuela on Tuesday, Senior Minister Reginald Austri reaffirmed Dominica's support to Venezuela throughout its present-day challenges brought on by members of the international community. And I'd like to call for an end to the political persecution of Venezuela. I would like to call for an end to the provocation of Venezuela. We in Dominica, while we do not get involved in the internal affairs of sovereign countries, but we believe that there are means by which matters can be resolved. We believe in the peaceful resolution of such matters. And we'd like to call on the international community. Let us seek and find a peaceful resolution to the problems now being faced in Venezuela. And so I would like to join our other CARICOM brothers and sisters in calling for a peaceful solution, a peaceful resolution to the problems now being undergone in Venezuela. Venezuela's ambassador to Dominica says his country is facing one of the most complex economic situations in its history. Three years ago, the government of the most powerful country in this continent declared an economic and financial war to Venezuela. And since then, Venezuela has been subject to power abuse, death of assets, blocking of international accounts, and prohibition of bank transfers, and a large number of various sanctions that culminate in the most recent threat of naval blockade, or sea blockade. All of this with the sole objective of overthrowing the last Bolivarian elected in free and transparent elections in Venezuela. His Excellency Moros says those actions have impeded Venezuela's ability to assist other countries but vow to overcome them someday. This situation, as you know, has inevitably caused a decrease in the level of cooperation and solidarity that our beloved Republic of Venezuela was used to sharing. But have no doubt, it is our goal to free ourselves from these sanctions and blockade to redeploy our resources for the benefit of our Latin American and Caribbean region. 
Prime Minister Skerritt expected to join CARICOM heads on Wednesday as member states of the Caribbean community continue their fight against COVID-19 and its impact on lives and livelihoods. With Caribbean governments currently fighting COVID-19, the ninth special emergency meeting of the Conference of Heads of Government of the Caribbean community will be conducted online. Chairman of CARICOM, Barbados Prime Minister Mia Motley, believes this could be an opportunity which regional leaders could use to advance greater unity in the region. I've written to my colleague heads and asked that we meet on Wednesday, April 15th, so that we can share ideas, share experiences first and foremost, but also look and see whether this is not the moment where CARICOM's true promise is upon us, that the notion of a single domestic space, that the notion of a single market, and what therefore are those things that we need to do in order truly to allow our sovereign boundaries to have a virtual reality that is the CARICOM entity, the Caribbean community, while the legal sovereign boundaries remain what we know. And what do I mean by that? That we probably will have to have a common public health protocol and common border policy. But what it does is that it expands the market of persons who then can help sustain each other far wider than it was at the beginning of this dress, address, just as other heads have had to do. I'm speaking to you not just about saving lives, but also sustaining livelihoods. You are watching Channel 5 News. We'll have more after this. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Si ou ni maladi HIV, ibe maladi sexiwa. Si ou pa poteje kou lou kani sex ek plizia mou. Sakay mette la vi ou ak gwodaje. Ou ka expose tout pat na ou pweza. E ka tsa ki ka vini ek maladi ya. Seve yo kondom chak fwa ou kani sex. Chanje ki, i e potan pou dekouve maladi ya bonè. Ou sa viv ak bon soti, mem si ou ni maladi HIV. Pwe wè skon sa piti, poteje kou ibi li zot. Examine kou. Yo, check this! Flo is giving away thirty thousand dollars in cash, two bags of money, plus a grand every Friday. or switch now to win. It only gets better with flu. Low terms and conditions apply. When you feel a sneeze or a cough coming, <coughs> covering your mouth prevents the spread of germs. You probably knew that. But the way you cover up also matters. And that means breaking a habit you've held near and dear all your life. Cover your nose and mouth with your flexed elbow or a tissue, not your hands. Discard the used tissue immediately. Then, wash your hands. Help stop the spread of germs. Remember, your health is your responsibility. A message by the Health Promotion Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and New Health Investment, Dominica. you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. 
keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Flow. It only gets better with flow. Flow terms and conditions apply. Thank you for staying with us. Government will soon announce a package of economic assistance for businesses and individuals to who have suffered economic loss due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The Prime Minister made the statement in an address on Saturday. In respect to those who have lost their jobs and whose businesses have been affected as a result of COVID-19, we are nearing the finalization of a package of measures and it is my hope that very soon I will be in a posi position to make an announcement to the nation. In that address, the Prime Minister sought to give the nation hope in the face of the ongoing fight against the deadly COVID-19 pandemic. He said the world will recover and advance after COVID-19 just, uh, just as it did after the Spanish flu a hundred years ago. The story of human civilization is a story of hope and triumph against the darkest and most daunting of trials and tribulations. Whatever damage COVID-19 inflicts on the global family, we will heal, we will recover, we will rebuild our lives and our world, and we will move forward. Indeed, fellow Dominicans, in this country, we know what it is to fight our way back from misfortune. When this dreaded disease is defeated, whatever condition the world finds itself in, we Dominicans know that we have within us the capacity to build back better. Making reference to the Easter message, the Prime Minister said the death of Christ was not the end. A different reality emerged after the crucifixion came the resurrection. From the deep dark tomb came a bright new dawn, a resurrected Savior and a redeemed people. If our Savior could endure horror, pain and shame to save us, his people, then we can endure some inconvenience and change in our daily circumstances and routines to save each other and our country. The God of Easter is a risen, triumphant Lord who is able to transform despair to hope, darkness to light, and uncertainty to positive assurance. Our God is able to bring healing to a hurting people and repair to a broken world. That is the God whom we, the people of Dominica, serve. Up to Monday, Dominica had recorded 16 positive cases of COVID-19. By then, 359 individuals had been tested. Of that number, 342 were negative. Total active cases, 8. Contacts identified, 147. And contacts cleared, 142. Five contacts were under investigation as of Monday. There were 35 individuals in quarantine. At this time, let us remember Dominicans living abroad who are also facing this crisis and are concerned about their loved ones here at home. In this most trying situation, the government of Dominica is doing its utmost, its utmost to keep our population safe and healthy. Your government will do everything that we can to protect our people, our country, and our economy. It is not an exaggeration to say that with COVID-19, we can either become our brother's keeper or our brother's killer. I wish to remind you that people can carry the disease and can infect others without, show, without showing any symptoms whatsoever. It is therefore important that we all take every precaution to keep ourselves and our families safe. 
To date, Dominica has recorded no COVID-19 related deaths. Dominica's fire officers commended for their role in the fight against COVID-19. Here is Andrea Louis with more. Firefighters are among the frontline workers who are in direct contact with potential COVID-19 cases in order to protect the wider public. Fire Chief Josiah Dupe says fire officers are among those who go above and beyond the call of duty during the COVID-19 crisis. I really want to use this opportunity to, to thank my fire officers, my Deputy Fire Chief, my senior officers and those who are out there daily and even in the evenings going out and doing this very challenging, um, highly risky um, type of job. And, and furthermore, um, those who would have taken on this challenge and stood tall, even when there was quite a bit of uncertainty and fear among us fire officers. Um, I, I, I have expressed it to them in person, but I am happy for this opportunity to say it out here, um, to, to really express my profound appreciation for the bravery, for the commitment, and for the leadership that I've seen in my officers. Personal Protective Equipment, or PPE, is key for frontline workers when dealing with suspected or confirmed COVID-19 cases. DOP says to date there is no shortage of PPEs on island as there have been in other parts of the world, but this might change if the COVID-19 outbreak here worsens. And I hope we never really get to that point because after all, the PPE is critical to offering the service that we do. Without the PPE, it's, it's really a sentence of contraction, you know, by any person who interfaces with with. with an individual who is carrying the virus. Um, but it is a bit of an issue, it is a concern, and I can hope that the lines are cleared up for, 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 for transportation, um, the industries, uh, companies that are doing, uh, making um, face masks and, and the disposable um, protective gear, um, glove, uh, that, that you know, they get back into full operation and that we can have distribution across the world, really. Thus far, the COVID-19 situation has brought about several changes which the Fire and Ambulance Service believes should be incorporated into its long-term operations. But I think it, it really um, asks of us uh, whether we are on a, an ambulance call or just at the station house itself to just be much more conscious about our hygiene, um, hygiene practices, uh, and I think this will stay with us going forward. I have already instructed my deputy that um, we will have to adopt um, the approach of, at least in some instances, utilizing Zoom, for example, to have meetings. Um, well, one, it is cost effective. Two, um, it prevents the kind of contact that you would have otherwise. We are quite open to to, to adopting anything that we think which will, will be of benefit to us, um, but most importantly, of benefit to the people that we serve. The fire chief also commended the private sector for lending support to frontline workers despite the challenges placed on them amid the COVID-19 outbreak in the country. Andre Louis, Channel 5 News. And police continued their search on Tuesday for St. Lucia National after he reportedly stabbed his girlfriend and her sister during the Easter weekend. The incident which took place in Grand Four on Sunday involves Joseph Casey, who is believed to be on the run. St. Lucia News Online identified the sisters involved as 23-year-old Tricia Valentine and 17-year-old Jolisa Dublin. Police reports say both female victims received medical attention and were in stable condition. Flow. It only gets better with flow. Flow terms and conditions apply. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With Flow, 
It only gets better. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flow. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. or switch now to win. It only gets better with flow. Low terms and conditions apply. To end the news, a look again at the headlines. Dominica calls on the international community to stop political persecution of Venezuela. Government to announce an economic package to assist businesses and individuals affected by COVID-19. And CARICOM heads expected to discuss areas of closer cooperation when they meet online on Wednesday. You may access our news on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the production team, I am Julian Morris. Thank you for watching. Join us tomorrow. <laughs>